Mr. A.K. Jindal, who is Head of Engineering Commercial Vehicle for India's largest automakers by value. Sir, what are the latest mega trends in commercial vehicle segment when it comes to engineering? Mm -hmm. So, as far as mega trends are concerned, there are three, four major mega trends. One is, of course, in terms of total cost of ownership, minimizing the total cost of ownership. The second is about the safety, how the truck is the how how the truck can be more safer, free from accidents. And the third is about the connectivity, how the truck truck is connected in the ecosystem. So these are the three major mega trends as we see today. So, uh, in terms of engine, what are the, you know, uh, for what are the steps are you taking at a low cost? How can we decrease the operating cost for, you know, uh, operators? On the engine side, there are a couple of things which we are taking. One is, of course, optimizing the engine which we use for delivering particular performance depending on the market in which these trucks are operated. So, which will mean that for the right power, we will choose the right size of the engine. Uh, the other is uh, we are spending a lot of time in time in optimizing the matching of the engine to the drivetrain, so that we can make the engine run at the right optimum point, minimum BSFC point, so that it can deliver the best fuel efficiency. The third, of course, is uh, the engines are being optimized to meet the emission regulations as demanded by the regulations for each country wherever we are exporting. So there also we are focusing on selecting those technologies which gives the better fuel economy and low cost of course and at the same time deliver more reliable operation throughout its lifetime. Uh, could you give us some specific examples of the technology that you have introduced of late? Uh, there are many. I think uh, from a, if I start from the durability and reliability point of view, we have used uh, the for the basic uh, chassis the high high strength steels which has never been used in the country we are using the uh, the uh, axles as well as the front axle rear axle with the uh, latest technology in terms of bearings in terms of the basic design the whole parts and uh, systems have been designed which can give the latest uh, the best in class uh, reliability as well as good. How, how are you doing light weighting? Because that is one of the mega trends uh, that re increases fuel efficiency. What are the measures are you taking for that? I think, uh, as I said, uh, we are using uh, wherever possible using the high strength steels with, with which you can still achieve the uh, performance, load carrying capability, but using uh, smaller sections so that you can improve, reduce the weight. We have used a lot of uh, composites in this. As you can see, this is the front panel is made of composite. Even the bumpers are made of composites. The side uh, set, uh, fixed windows, they are all made in composites. So a lot of places we have used composites so that we can keep the weight down. So how, uh, in, in terms of production process, how have, what are the measures you are taking to increase the efficiency at the shop floor level? Again, in the, in the manufacturing process also, we have adopted the technology uh, so that it is easier to manufacture, uses minimum number of parts and uh, has the lesser number of parts so that it is more easier and uh, uh, e easier and as well as less expensive to assemble. What the, uh, we have seen uh, recent uh, trends that uh, heavier meters are being replaced. So apart from these bumpers, is there another part where you have uh, replaced heavier metal with a uh, lighter one? As of now, we are uh, exploring those areas where we can use even the structural components in this. But in heavy commercial vehicles, I think they will take some more time to before they can mature and can be started using. Today we are using these composites mainly in the areas where they are not really carrying the load, but they are functional parts, but they don't carry the load. Because as you know, in India particularly, all the trucks, as uh, they tend to be stretched in terms of loading. So we have to be taking, a, we have to take a very uh, sort of judicious decision before we start using the composites in those places. In low flood buses which you have in Delhi reported a lot of uh, issue in terms of fire and all. Uh, what was the reason and how they have been resolved? 
I think uh, the proof which you know, maybe yes, in the beginning we had uh, few one or two incidences uh, that we identified very quickly that they were not really any fundamental issues in the design, but the way these were vehicles were being used, they were getting hit from the sides, which uh, resulted into short, short circuiting of certain lamps which we had fitted. So they were putting a lot of stress on the fuses. So once we identified that problem, we resolved that problem, we have been, we had no issue that as we went ahead in this uh, journey. We are talking about uh, uh, Tata Motors bringing AMT kind of solution in trucks and buses. How, what is this uh, technology? Is it really AMT or it's a, a slightly different technology that you are introducing? In? This is similar to what uh, usually it is called as automated manual transmissions. So this is what we are developing with our partners, uh, supplier partners. And uh, as you rightly know, you, you have already known that we will be introducing them in buses. And as we go forward, maybe even in trucks also. So how does this, uh, you know, AMT works in, uh, you know, in uh, bus and trucks? Is it similar as it works in cars? Fundamentally, principle is same. Uh, but in cars, probably they, the way they are operated is uh, slightly different. Because in cars they are operated hydraulically, whereas in trucks they are operated pneumatically. But the fundamental principles are same. Of course, the when you handle this uh, larger engine, trucks, uh, so there are fine tweaking which you have to do. But fundamental principle is similar. So by what time we will have a product with the MT? I think by uh, say third quarter of this year we should have buses running with the MT in the field. That will be city buses or long distance? As of now, city buses.